Is leftover rice really a breeding ground for mold or is there more to the story than this? From the limited tests I could find, an estimated 9 to 50% of raw rice sold at grocery stores can be contaminated with the gram positive rod shaped bacterium Bacillus cereus. To test the growth of B. cereus in rice, a group of researchers inoculated samples of rice, beans, and pasta with strains of B. cereus spores and cooked them. The researchers then cooled the samples to 7.2 degrees Celsius or 44.96 degrees Fahrenheit at different speeds to see how B. cereus grew since the bacterium can survive cooking. According to the USDA's Food Safety Inspection Service, B. cereus growth over three colony forming units per gram is considered a public health concern. The researchers found that rice, beans, and pasta cooled down to 7.2 degrees Celsius within six hours of being cooked were the only samples with B. cereus growth below the public health concern threshold. These were the same findings with rice mixed with chicken and vegetables and rice mixed with beef. For cooling times greater than six hours, all samples had B. cereus growth levels above the concern threshold. The main takeaway from this research and other studies is that rice should be consumed after cooking or refrigerated within an hour. Quickly placing rice in the fridge ensures the rice rapidly cools to four degrees Celsius within six hours of cooking to prevent the potential growth of B. cereus. It's important to note that the researchers purposefully inoculated all the samples with B. cereus at levels just below the threshold of three colony forming units per gram. This doesn't represent the actual amounts of B. cereus that would be in raw rice before cooking as not all samples would be contaminated with it and the amount would likely be less. Additionally, most fridges cool down to 4 degrees Celsius or 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a lower temperature than the 7.2 degrees Celsius used in the study, which can still promote B. cereus growth. I couldn't find any research proving that all rice becomes moldy and toxic 24 hours after cooking, which is a viral claim that spread on the internet. If rice is contaminated with B. cereus to begin with and not refrigerated quickly after cooking, then yes, it can harbor B. cereus growth within a day, potentially leading to food poisoning. However, if rice is quickly placed in the fridge after cooking, it should keep for several days without concerning amounts of bacteria. I compiled this research with links to the study on my website blog at myhealthforward.com, which I linked in my bio for you. And for those of you wondering, rice can be contaminated with B. cereus during farming, harvesting, processing, or bagging from contact with soil, water, dust, animals, and insects. One researcher estimates that 63,000 Americans experience foodborne illness from the pathogen B. cereus every year. If you know more research on this topic, please share it in the comments below.